Welcome to the Ecosystem Simulator Ecosim. In Ecosim, you are a nature manager who carries out nature conservation work in a virtual landscape. Ecosim connects three different elements, the landscape, nature management, and target species of plants and animals. The foundation of Ecosim is its landscape. It consists of a large amount of tiles, each of which corresponds to an area of roughly 10 by 10 meters. Each individual tile represents a vegetation type and has a score of ecological parameters programmed in, such as pH, nutrient load, groundwater level and soil type. These data come from a vegetation database called Symbiosis, developed at Wageningen University. Time is an important factor in Ecosim. Over time, tiles transform from one vegetation type into another, just like in natural succession. The same goes for the underlying ecological data. Besides time, nature management has an effect on these changes in vegetation and ecological parameters. So it is possible to influence, through nature management, the vegetation and its ecological features. This is how that looks in Ecosim. The target species, those plants and animals that are the goal of nature conservation, are the third element of Ecosim. Target species are programmed in the landscape. The game designer decides where they occur at the start of the simulation. In the course of time, the species will increase or decrease as a result of succession and nature management. So the model behind Ecosim is like this. The target species are programmed to flourish and disperse only on certain vegetation tiles and under specific ecological circumstances. Alter these conditions and the population size and dispersion of the species will change. Let's illustrate this with an example. The orchid species Marsh Helleborine can be programmed to flourish in alkaline fenmires with a pH between 6.5 and 8. In these conditions the population will grow and the species will have a high rate of dispersal. That same orchid finds less favorable conditions in flooded meadows or in alkaline fen mires with a low pH. Another example. The black woodpecker can be programmed to favor mature oak birch forest and scotch pine forest with a minimum of 10% of standing dead wood. This is, in a nutshell, how Ecosim works. Nature management influences the Ecosim landscape and the target species responds to changes in the landscape. In a new version of Ecosim, Ecosim 2.0, nature management can also have a direct effect on the target species. Ecosim 1.0 comes with two assignments or games in Dutch and one in English. However, in the example of the marsh helleborine and the black woodpecker, I suggested the possibility to program your own target species. This is indeed possible. You can also design your own landscapes. For more information on this, see www.ecosim.nl. One element of Ecosim has not yet been addressed. How does the Ecosim player know the right measures? This is the element of research. There are three ways to obtain the necessary information. Through the library, by doing research, and through the avatars. The library is a tailor-made selection of background articles. The library can contain anything, from background information on species, habitats, and effects of measures, to maps of the area and links to relevant websites. The player has a variety of research methods to his or her disposal, such as vegetation surveys, soil, hydrological and hydrochemical field research. And of course, the target species themselves can be surveyed. However, all research and measures are costly. The player has to choose his methods carefully. The final source of information comes in the form of a score of stakeholders and newspaper articles that pop up in response to the player's actions. As far as we know, Ecosim is the most elaborate ecosystem simulator currently available. The software has a number of unique features.
First, it shows natural changes in time, both in landscape and in populations of target species. Thereby, it makes ecological processes insightful. Second, it is a good tool for education. Students need to learn such theoretical concepts as ecosystem, habitat, species, niche and limiting factor. It is not easy though to fully grasp the meaning of and the relation between these concepts from a textbook. In Ecosim this is easier because the student has a specific role and understands these concepts in a concrete situation. The data and ecological model behind Ecosim is pretty extensive, but because it is possible to hide data or disable part of the model, Ecosim can be designed for various levels of education, ranging from high school to university master studies. This flexibility does not only serve educational purposes. Every ecologist can make amendments to optimize the model and update it to the latest insights. Finally, another attractive feature of Ecosim is the possibility to upload GIS-based maps into the software. So you can create your nearby nature reserve in Ecosim and simulate its flora and fauna populations. The Ecosim software evolves quickly. At the moment we are working on elaborate models of population dynamics and the possibility to run scenario analysis for nature conservation. Stay informed by checking our website at www.ecosim.nl